All right, we're going to watch the difference between the first night and the second night, and then let me explain why just by getting to the center of your foot, it's, it's eliminated the high elbows. Now, in the first one, what you're going to see is as you start to reach the top of your lift, you're already to the inside. Now, as you start to move forward, you're aggressively using the inside and the ball of your foot in an attempt to open and rotate the hips, and that's not the most efficient way uh, to do so. We're, we're wanting to use the, the hamstring and the glute to rotate your hips because that's the most effective way to do so. Simply by driving from the ball of your foot is extending your hip, and that's not really an efficient rotation, and that's what leads to the high elbows. Now, whenever you start to think about tempo, tempo fixes a lot of issues, but inefficient tempo really does you no good. The goal is to move as fast as possible from A to B efficiently. So we want to think efficient tempo, and that's what that's what's happening uh, with you in the top, and it's why you're eliminating the high elbows. Now, at this point, let's zoom in right here. At this point, you still start to get to the inside of your foot, but as we're starting to move forward, you're going to see that you're grounded with the entire foot on the ground. And uh, what's happening is this is allowing you to utilize the glute to rotate the, your hips. So you're going to see uh, at this point, watch the difference here. You see how your foot is, is still completely grounded? There versus here. And there was, so to speak, there was your disconnection. You think about connection as far as momentum. We're trying to transfer momentum from segment to segment with each building upon the previous, and you're able to do this efficiently, and that's why you're eliminating the high elbows. So on the, the top, you can see the high elbows is gone. So really the goal for you, as you know, was to uh, – Focus on staying in the center of your foot. This is something that I would do religiously. I'd highly recommend a lot of the slow motion wall drills, taking the shoe off the back foot and getting the feel over and over and over of staying in the center of your foot because what it does is it, it creates greater surface area. It allows you to utilize the ground to where it's projecting the center part of your body um, forward, but it's also allowing you to... Uh, to effectively rotate the hips with the glute by getting to the heel, it sends a body to the sends a message to the body that the back hip is locked and guys will become front hip dominant. And you're just you're the opposite. As a matter of fact, watch this back hip. See, as soon as that knee starts to turn, it's forcing that front open. And in this one, it's, it's just the opposite. You're actually pulling the back hip open. But man, overall, really, really, really good job. I mean, I was really impressed uh, with you overall. And one final point, um, I noticed, and I'll send this, but I noticed with your arm stress, and I've seen this a lot, is guys that attempt to stop their arm, not allowing it to move past the center part of their body, tend to put more stress on the arm, and your stress rate was, was considerably high. So that's one thing I would, I would try to get away from, and I know that that's a habit, but at the end of the day, the hip is what's responsible for the arm decelerating, and the arm is at the mercy of the hips. So by, uh, so by uh, what you're doing there, you're, you're actually allowing the arm to slow down efficiently. So that's where I would continue to go. But overall, man, I was, I was really, really impressed. And you also notice that you're rotating through the ball, gaining extension versus here and then the last thing was you can see your arm your foot stays in contact with the ground a little bit longer but overall you can continue to improve and, and you got it man you know exactly what to do just just keep doing it if there's anything i can do to help in the future please don't hesitate to reach out and best of luck to you in nebraska man i look for you to do big things